Hare Krishna. So in the in between training for the Great North Run, trying to get some strength training, endurance training in. So we're here by the Appalachian Trail in America. <laughs> and we're gonna climb Weaverton Cliffs. And um yeah. Yeah, and I'll take you along to see what it's like. But it's very good to build up strength and endurance. I mean, just walking to the cliff, I feel a bit out of breath, so. <laughs> okay, Hare Krishna. So this is the start of the trail. We just come, we just come from down there. That was enough. <laughs> now we're gonna walk up there. This really builds up insurance and strength. I mean, I caught a few, I'm out of breath because that's good. Not so fit, but you're feeling it as you're climbing over rocks and other stuff. <laughs> so it's actually really good for you. Can't go into the gym, it doesn't matter. You can just go for a walk like it. Well, it's not just a simple walk. <laughs> but about an hour or two. And yeah, you, you're just in between the runs. You can really build up the flexibility and the strength. Hello, Krishna. Okay, we're halfway there, I think, are we? No um, idea. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> keep going. It feels really good, I must admit. It's like a really good workout. So, yeah, it's great when you regularly run and put other activity in between. You can really feel your fitness levels increasing, especially if you enjoy it. That's a good sign. <laughs> Howdy, Krishna. We're almost at the top. Enjoy. The views are amazing. Not just this one. <laughs> but the one that we'll see when we get to the very top. So this, we've come to the top of the cliff. So now we're just going a little bit down, downwards, and we'll show you an amazing view. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful.
Krishna. So we're making our way down the Appalachian, well, part of the, okay, Weaverton Cliffs, but it's part of the Appalachian Trail, you see? Can you see that? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we're going to go down now. There's snakes here, by the way. There's snakes and there's bears. If you see a grizzly bear, you're supposed to just stand still, apparently. I'm not quite sure I would do that if I saw a grizzly bear. I think I would run like crazy, but that's not the advice. You're supposed to stand still. And if you go tall and make noise, that scares them. I would make noise, but I wouldn't be standing still while I'm making the noise. <laughs> yeah, that's my walking buddy. All right, I'm going to go now because we're going down the cliff now. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So we've finished our... Let's just... We've finished our hike. Feeling really good. Legs are feeling good. Lungs are feeling good. And stomach needs some attention now in the form of food. <laughs> Very important to fuel properly, however, when you're training for a race or otherwise. And not just to eat... Animals in rude weight, but like junk type things. So it's very important to get the right fuel in. Um, fruits, nuts, porridge, protein, lots of water. We had we were carrying water with us, so when we got to the top, we did drink. But yeah, just wanted to share how in between racing and running, we can actually build up our strength, and even when we're on holiday, we can do that in a fun way. Hari Krishna.